And a very good day to you from uh, the Garden of Eden. <laughs> uh, I'm bringing you a reading out of the book of Genesis today, the first book of the Bible. But today we've come across this beautiful Garden of Eden. It's in the arid part of Australia, out of Burke on the River Darling. Normally a very arid place. But there's a people here who have turned this beautiful garden into a caravan park and a place for people to come and visit in the dry and thirsty land. And so I thought this is appropriate to be uh, reading a little bit of the book of Genesis to you. Reading from Genesis 1, um, verse 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful, increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. And then from uh, verse 4 of chapter 2, this is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created. When the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and no shrub of the field had yet appeared on the earth and no plant of the field had yet sprung up for the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth and there was no man to work the ground but streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God planted a garden in the east, in the Eden. And there he put the man he formed, and, and the Lord God made all kinds of trees grow up out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. In the middle of the garden there were, were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The river watering the garden flowed from the Eden. From there it was separated into four headwaters. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you surely will die. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and the birds of the air. He brought them to the man to see what he would name them. Whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the bird of the air and all the beasts of the field. But for Adam, no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woe man, for she was taken out of man. So there it is. There's my woe man, woman, <laughs> here in the Garden of Eden, near Burke, about four or five k's out of Burke, on the River Darling. And that's our first reading from the Word of God, from the book of Genesis. And I hope that you'll follow the readings as we go through the scriptures to the book of Revelation in 66 sessions time. So just click on the link, you'll see a button there, click on that link and it will take you to the next reading which comes from Exodus. So you have a great day. And uh, I hope you enjoy these little studies right through the Bible for 66 sessions. God bless you. And now I'm going to join Eve, my woe man, in the, in the pool for a swim. Okay.